Welcome to yet another installment of Game Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at two games released in the early 90s, and that would be none other than King of the Monsters. Now, when I first heard of this game, the one thing that comes to mind was Nickelodeon's Nick Arcade, which I haven't seen for like God knows how long, and that's all I know. Though, I do remember seeing that game when I went to Peter Piper Pete's on my brother's 8th birthday in 1993. So, without any further, let us begin. You play as one of the six monsters that look a lot like Godzilla, King Kong, the Smog Monster, Megalon, Ultraman, and... The Thing. Okay... But, let us continue. The gameplay is a wrestling-slash-fighting game where you have to keep on beating the living shit out of your opponent until his life meter is low. Then, when he's on the ground, you pin his ass for three seconds. After that, you win and move on to the next round, fighting another monster. Plus, you can also trash buildings and grab vehicles and use them as weapons. Each monster has his own fighting style and powers. To use their powers, you have to charge up by holding on one of the buttons, then release. The meter on the left side of the screen allows you to collect orbs with P on it. <laughs> he said P on it. <laughs> P on it. <laughs> Please excuse me for my Beavis and Butthead impression, folks. As I was saying, if you collect a lot of these orbs, you're able to level up your monster, but he can only go up to level 3. What? Meaning that he cannot level up even further. <sighs> Now, what happens if you defeat them? Well, you have to fight them again, which is tedious. And if you beat them once again, you get to see the ending. The survivor is Gion. There is no way to stop this monster. What should we do? Gion is devastating all of Tokyo. It's a matter of time until it attacks the radio station. The game is also ported on both the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, except that Wu and Poison Ghost aren't in those two. Sorry. Really? <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> next, we got King of the Monsters 2, the next thing. The game takes place three years after the events of the first game. Only three monsters survive, which means that Beatlemania, Poison Ghost, and Rocky are all dead. So, we won't see them anymore. That sucks. Now for the gameplay. While the original was once again a wrestling-slash-fighting game, the sequel is just your typical beat-em-up. Never in my life have I played it in the arcades, but only the Super Nintendo version back in 1995, and it felt much like its arcade counterpart. There's also one for the Genesis, except it plays like the previous game, and no, I never played that one. I also heard that the alien bosses are playable, and it makes me wonder, why couldn't they be playable in versus mode on both the arcade and the Super NES version? <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> now to close things out. I find King of the Monsters and the sequel really fun games, and I haven't played them for so long. I had such fonding memories with both of them. Plus, it would be awesome for SNK to make a third one. I honestly think they should. I mean, SNK never forgot about it. So, Big Al, what does the future hold for King of the Monsters? Well, only time. Thank you. Anyway, this ends my Halloween edition of Game Reviews. So until then, I want to wish you all a happy Halloween, and I shall see you next time.